colour can affect the way an image communicates ideas or feelings and can influence how an audience might engage with an image or the work itself. Exaggerating the way light appears naturally or creating an emotion on a more abstract level. The colours themselves describing an impression or mood to be felt. We shot all of these images using Nanlite's new Forza 60C, and what's special about this little 60 watt light is its RGB LAC colour technology. This means the unit doesn't just feature red, green and blue LEDs like most other coloured lighting fixtures on the market, but also lime, amber and cyan. This is a similar 6 colour system to Ari's Orbiter and Prolite's Orion, allowing for more accurate and subtle colour reproduction than a standard RGBW or RGBWW fixture. Coloured lighting can be used not just in an exaggerated way, but also to replicate colours you see naturally. In our first image, we wanted to match the colours from the previous shot of Sunset, which we captured at a different location. Utilising the Nanlite app, we simply used an image of this sunset for reference, selecting the colours by eye, and how they might appear if the scene was lit by this sky. We had one Forza 60C set to a blue toned light outside the room, bouncing from a white wall and filling in the shadows around the window hatch. Inside the room, we had our second Forza 60C, firing into a sheet of bleached muslin material placed just outside the patio doors, providing the main light for the room and our subject. You can see how each colour represents two different sections of sky, the soft light of the recently set sun, and the cooler, darker light of the approaching evening. For the close-up of the paper and mirror drawing, we actually shot during the day, with daylight coming in through the patio doors we simply turned down our exposure to match the previous image and colour graded to a similar orange tone as the previous sunset shot. In our second scene, we created a very stylistic scenario of deep blue moonlight and saturated orange house light, but to start with, it looked like this. We used the Bowens mount adapter on our Forza 60C and attached it to a beauty dish we boomed this above the window where our subject was stood, to represent moonlight. In the background we had two lights, a Nanlite Mix Panel 150 bouncing from the corner of the room, adding some subtle detail to the background, and a second Forza 60C providing direct hard backlight, utilising its 45 degree reflector. Our moonlight was set to 20,000 Kelvin and both background lights to 3300 Kelvin. The idea was to have a large colour contrast between very warm and very cool, for a stylized look, but in practice, 20,000 Kelvin, although cool, isn't cool enough to make for the exaggerated, colourful contrast we had in mind. 
so we introduced some colour into the shot. This was achieved by simply selecting the colour and saturation we wanted to see from our 60C units on our Nanlite app, and it allowed us to push our backlight into something more saturated also, creating a very stylistic, almost abstract look, but one that is visually understandable. Before we take a look at how we lit the attic, car and beach shots, parts 1, 2, 4 and 5 of my Lighting with Colour mini course are on YouTube now, but you can also download it all with an exclusive part 3 at my website, or become a patron and stream the 46 minute tutorial in full. And once again, a huge thank you to all my patrons, old and new, who helped to keep this channel going. I really appreciate all of your support. In the attic shot, we went for a deep sea green colour with our lighting. This made for a good representation of darkness or night with the cooler palette, but could also work towards subtly suggesting the discovery of something somewhere deep and dark. We had one of our Forza 60C units behind and above our camera, bouncing into some bleached muslin material, creating the overall light for our scene. Another Forza 60C, set to the same deep sea green, was firing up into the attic from below, providing some extra detail to the roof truss, and revealing more of the location, giving it a little added context. As we didn't have much space in the attic and around our camera, we didn't really have any way to control the spread of the bounce light, so we added a few power windows in post to selectively take down some exposure and direct the eye toward the subject. For the red tone shot, the setup was exactly the same, only with both 60Cs set to a deep, saturated red. For the car shots, we had our camera on a suction mount with as little accessories attached as possible to keep within the weight limit. We had our Forza 60C in the passenger seat with the PJ F60 projection mount attached, held firmly in place with sandbags and pointed at the ceiling of the car. We used the Sony MPF battery grip to power the 60C. This was set to a lighter, slightly less saturated blue and provided our subject with a soft top light with a quick fall off into shadow. For the close up of our subject on the beach, we used the Bowens adapter once again to connect our Forza 60C to a large octobox along with the previously mentioned Sony MPF battery grip. Our 60C was set to a hue loop effect, cycling through a 360 degree spectrum of colours. Regardless of the genre, style or tone of work you're shooting, colour can be an important element in translating ideas and feelings into a visual medium. Support my channel on Patreon and get extra lighting and shoot breakdowns, along with early, ad-free and extended YouTube videos. I colour grade my work using Dehancer. Use my code ROBELLIS to get 10% off. I use music from AudioSocket in my videos. Click my referral link in the video description and use the code ROBELLIS when you sign up for a free month of the best and most diverse range of stock music available. Use my code Rob Ellis over at Zyro to get up to 71% off your website or storefront with three extra months free, along with a custom domain for a year. I use Artgrid for stock footage. Get an extra two months free when you sign up using my link in the video description.